Ouch! Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be discussing of the latest updates for the Giga Mini 3 Pro and what one should be careful about post installing these updates. As a token of appreciation to all our viewers, we have decided for a couple of giveaways which would be detailed out post the discussion on the updates. Now without further delay, let's jump into the topic. Before we go on to the details of the updates, we shall start with how to be careful and safe post installing the updates to avoid unintended accidents. Ensure the disable sideways flight is unchecked under the safety tab to avoid unintended accidents as we cannot take control of them. Ouch! Verify if the obstacle avoidance action is set to your preferred setting. In my case it had gone to brake wherein I had to manually set it back to bypass. Reset the auto RTH altitude based on the highest obstacle in the scenario where you're flying. Under advanced safety settings, ensure the signal loss is set to your preferred settings. In my case it had gone to hover and I had shifted it back to RTH. And also ensure the emergency propeller stop is changed to emergency only so that it does not fall off in the middle of flight. For the new update under controls, we have again an expert tuning. Especially with the aircraft settings, I suggest we do not make any changes. However, if you do want to experiment with these parameters, I would suggest you to be extremely careful, especially with the yaw settings, as this increases the speed of the sideways movement and there is increased chances that you have a crash, if at all there are nearby bushes or trees. So we have received cruise control as a part of 1.8.0 version so to enable the cruise control under control you can go to button customization and you have an option to customize the c2 button once you check the c2 button you have to go to the control tab and you can opt for the third option that is hyperlapse cruise control so how does this help in fact this is really helpful in freestyle hyperlapse in this mode, the stick placement will be locked in place and the footage will be far more smoother. As you know, any of the hyperlapse would be ranging from 5 to 10 minutes. So a small seize or a small change in the finger pressure due to a human error can ruin your footage. Whereas this gets locked in place and the drone will continue to fly using the same movement and this should give you a cleaner footage than manually taking a freestyle hyperlapse. Also, uh, please verify if the aspect ratio of the photo is in your preferred setting. I usually put mine in 16 is to 9, however after update it went to 4 is to 3 and I had to change it back to 16 is to 9. Also, I prefer to leave my histogram on and you can also opt for the grid lines which you are comfortable with. With the latest update, we also get more control over the aircraft and gimbal settings. So under controls under the gain and export tab, you can go to the gain and export tuning. So I suggest you leave the aircraft settings as is as you may increase the yaw and it's going to be very sensitive to the sideways movement and there would be an increased chance of crashing this is purely a personal preference and if you want the aircraft to descend ascent or move sideways slower or faster you can try tweaking them now moving on to the gimbal section the max control speed defines how fast the gimbal moves up and down it ranges from 0 to 100 at 1 it's far too slow to be acceptable and it's like it's not moving and at 100% or very high at 80 or 100 the footage is going to be all over the place and you, it's not going to be visually very pleasing. I personally prefer to leave it at around 12. Yeah, of course you can find your sweet spot in that. But let's look at an example at 100. 
So when you do a reveal shot, this is gonna be way too fast for it to look cinematic. And here's an example where the tilt speed was set to 12. So you can see it's kind of revealing it softly and smoothly and uh, is much more appealing than what we saw at 100. So yeah, definitely you can look at what is uh, your preferred choice and probably set it accordingly. Now moving to the tilt smoothness. Tilt smoothness is something very important. If you put it on zero, when you take your hand off the gimbal, it will stop immediately, which is not so visually pleasing and doesn't look good. Increase the tilt smoothness and it gives you a half a second or a second fluidic kind of movement. So you can experiment with that and select accordingly. While doing a happy lapse, so these are a few things which you need to keep in your mind. Always change it from 1080p to 4K for the best results. Also choose RAW so that you can post process it in Lightroom. And once you start your movement, either up, forward, backward, sideways. Once you fix the movement, press C2 as we have assigned C2 as a key for cruise control in hyperlapse. So this ensures that the movement is locked in place and you would have a constant movement and a constant speed in the, the direction that we have set and this should help you get the best footage these are a few of the footages taken with cruise control option and hyperlapse mode I observe that the majority of the viewers are not yet subscribed to the channel as you can see on the screen it's my humble request that you subscribe, like, comment, share if you like the content. Of course, this helps the channel and it also enables you to get a notification each time I post a new video because it keeps me motivated to make many more videos like this. As a token of appreciation to all the viewers, we have decided to give a couple of giveaways. All you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment. For the first 2,000 subscribers, we give away an Amazon or BNH gift voucher worth $100. And for 10,000 subscriber mark, we are going to give away a DJI Mini 3 Pro. So all you have to do is to subscribe and leave a comment below. And this would be from the comment selector, which is an online website. Thank you all for watching the video. Until next time, bye-bye.